Before drawing any lines, circles, arcs, or other entities, be sure to select the correct layer assignment. These layer selections are included in most of the existing templates. I'm going to select the building line style and then zoom in by rolling the scroll button on the mouse so we can get a better view of the grid lines. I'll start the line command by clicking on the toolbar icon, but I could have selected the command from the draw menu as well. I set a point on the screen and as I drag my mouse, you can see the line snap to specific angles. These angles are determined by the polar tracking feature. You can set different angles or turn the feature off. You can quickly turn the feature on or off by pressing the P, like Paul, key on the keyboard. I can also turn on the snap feature. This feature forces the cursor to snap every one foot or one inch depending on the selection. As you can see when I drag the mouse, it jumps one foot at a time. You can read the distance and the angle in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. This makes drawing lines at precise angles and distances a snap. I can press the enter key to end the line. And now assume that this is the back of a house and I need to add a patio. I switch to a hardscape line style and enact the line command. I can drag the mouse close to a corner or vertices of the line and press the right mouse button to jump onto the point location. The right mouse button forces the cursor to jump to the nearest point location. If I select a line, you can see the points that were set when drawing the line. I can snap to any one of these point locations. When drawing lines, every time you click with the left mouse button, you set a point for the line. If you make a mistake, you can press the escape key to back up. If you press the escape key enough times, you can back completely out of the command. Another way to draw lines is by using the point polar command in conjunction with the line command. I can simply press an arrow key on the keyboard in the direction I want to draw. And in the point polar bo dialog box, I type in the distance and press enter. By pressing the arrow keys and entering a distance, I can quickly draft almost any building. If an arrow key does not exist for the angle, I can click on a directional arrow in the point polar dialog box to set the angle. I can also type in an angle as well. And with these two commands used together, drawing just got a lot easier.